good day all in this session we are going to discuss the remaining portion of spermatogenesis as spermatogenesis part 2 let's see it in the previous session we have seen the process of spermatogenesis has three stages stage 1 spermatocytogenesis the genesis of a spermatocyte stage 2 spermatidogenesis the genesis of a spermatid and stage 3 is spermiogenesis the genesis of a motile sperm among the three stages we have discussed only the first stage that is the spermatocytogenesis let's discuss the remaining two stages the spermatidogenesis and spermiogenesis here in this session the second stage of spermatogenesis is the spermatidogenesis. Spermatidogenesis is a process of formation of a round, non-motile, haploid spermatid from the haploid secondary spermatocyte. This is a rapid stage and will be completed in no time. So, in this stage, immediately after the formation, the secondary spermatocyte complete the second meiotic division and give rise to two round spermatids. As the transition is so rapid, usually it is difficult to see the secondary spermatocytes in the histology sections. And all the divisions from spermatogonium till the formation of spermatids are incomplete divisions. So, all the cells forming from a single spermatogonium remains connected to one another by cytoplasmic bridges that leads to synchronous development. The last stage or stage 3 is called as spermiogenesis. This is the process of formation of a spermatozoan from the round spermatid. It takes a minimum of 24 days. And at this stage, the spermatids thus formed undergoes a series of cytodifferentiation and converted into spermatozoa. First, the chromosomes along with the nucleus will be highly condensed and the condensed nucleus will be placed in the center of the sperm cell. Next, the Golgi apparatus with the enzyme hyaluronidase will be kept proximal to the nucleus and form the acrosome. This is to pierce the zona pellucida during fertilization. Then, the proximal centriole will be placed at the distal end of the nucleus that marks the initial part of the neck region. And, immediately after, it starts producing the axial filaments. Now, the mitochondria arrange themselves around the axial filament next to the neck region and mark the middle piece. Following that, the distal centriole form a ring-like structure called annulus and get placed at the end of the middle piece. And the continuation of the axial filament further forms the tail piece. On the way, the spermatocyte loses most of its cytoplasm and will be converted into a sperm. In all the above stages, the developing sperm is in close contact with the Sertoli cells that support the developing non-motile sperm in all ways. On the screen, we can see a section of the seminiferous tubule with large Sertoli cells and cells in different stages of spermatogenesis in all the three compartments of the seminiferous tubules. Along with the Sertoli cells, we can appreciate the dark and pale type A and type B spermatogonia in the basal compartment of seminiferous tubule resting on the basement membrane. Outside the basement membrane, the tubules are lined by a few layers of peritubular myoid cells. They involve in the contraction of seminiferous tubules during spermiation. The adluminal compartment holds the large primary and secondary spermatocytes 
connected by cytoplasmic bridges and different types of spermatids on the process of conversion to mature sperms. The luminal compartment holds the mature sperms. The head of the sperms still present inside the sertoli cells and their tails project into the lumen of the seminiferous tubules. Though testis is the organ for the production of sperms, the sperms thus formed will not attain motility and functional maturity till they present inside the testis. Instead, mobility is achieved only when the sperms are transported to epididymis. So, on the way, the non-motile sperms thus formed are transported to epididymis and stored in the caput epididymis for 2 to 6 days. There, they mature and attain mobility and become the spermatozoan. Mobility of spermatozoa will increase when they pass through the corpus epididymis and caudal epididymis. But the spermatozoa attain its hypermobility and functional maturity only when it reaches the female reproductive tract. So, by one cycle of spermatogenesis, from one diploid pale type A spermatogonia, around 512 haploid spermatozoan are formed. The whole process takes around 64 to 74 days. And, unlike oogenesis, spermatogenesis begins just before puberty and continues throughout the adult life with a decline in the old age. In the next session, I will discuss about the structure of a mature male gamut, the sperm, along with the sperm defects. Till then, bye.